Welcome back to Duel, where I am now the only person standing at the table, and clearly that is not going to work. We need two new players to play our game, so let's meet them right now. First, we have Tasha Dobbin Paul, a flight attendant from California. And we have Jenny McGill, an artist from Glendale. Come on down. Tasha, welcome. Pleasure. Jimmy, how are you? Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. Tasha Dobbin Paul. I love the name. Thank you very much. Are you French? I'm not French, but I just last year married my husband, who is from France. Uh, we met on an airplane, and now I have a name that I can't pronounce. So. You're a flight attendant. I am a flight attendant. So it was very, you know, coffee, tea, me, I don't know. But. Tasha, welcome. It's Thank a pleasure you to have so you here. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Jimmy, you're, you're, you're ripped. I am? Maybe it's just in Probably. comparison to me you're a little ripped. But thank you. You're an artist? What, uh, what sort of artist are you? I do assemblage work. I work with found objects, make big wall hangings out of just about everything. Wood, wire, metal, aluminum. Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. You ready? I'm ready? Absolutely. Let's do. We will set the value of the duel to begin at $1,000. And here is your first question. Who is killed when Dorothy's house lands in Munchkinland in The Wizard of Oz? Is it the Wicked Witch of the North, the Wicked Witch of the South, Wicked Witch of the East, or Wicked Witch of the West? Tasha's in. Jimmy is in. Screen down, please. How well do you know this movie, Tasha? Uh, it's been a really long time since I've seen it. I'm a little scared. You looked a little stunned <laughs> when you saw you didn't have the same I answer as you did. I did. Okay. okay. Is this duel over after just one question? Show me. No, it's not. It is the Wicked Witch of the East. Okay. We will set the value of the duel now at $2,500 to the winner if it ends on this question. Which airline has three planes painted to look like Shamu the Killer Whale? Is it United, JetBlue, Southwest, or Delta? I think I should know this, but... Jimmy's in. Screen down, please. Tasha, if you would refresh our memory, what do you do for a living? I'm a flight attendant. <laughs> you ever notice, like, a large Shamu painted on the plane you were getting on? I'm going to feel really stupid here in a minute. Jimmy, you obviously are very confident. I'm thinking it's Southwest. If it's not, Tasha, the flight attendant, wins the duel. Ah. Is it Southwest? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> This is now worth $5,000 to the winner. Here's your question. According to the ASAPS, the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery, what was the most common surgical procedure on men in 2007? Facelift, liposuction, hair transplant, or breast reduction? most common surgical procedure. Jimmy is in. Tasha's in. Screen down, please. Oh. <laughs> Tasha, breast reduction. It's one of those little factoids I feel like I read recently. <laughs> but I am going to just kick myself if it's not right. Now that she says it, it is kind of funny. It does sound like one of those little 
bits of information. If it's breast reduction, Tasha wins. Otherwise, it's Jimmy. Who wins? Oh. It's liposuction, Jimmy wins. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Liposuction was number one. Eyelid surgery was number two. Breast reduction was fourth. <laughs> Hair transplants were fifth. Okay. Tasha, merci beaucoup. Uh, Thank you for being you here. We appreciate much. your coming. Thank you, Tasha. Thank you. Jimmy. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. You just won $5,000, but that is just the beginning. I'm about to give you a chance to double your money. I will ask you a single question. You get that question right using just this one chip, I will double what you just won in that duel, those $5,000, and make it 10. But you will have just seven seconds max to lock in your answer. So, one question, one chip, one chance. Here's your max question. The Braille Touch Reading System was adapted from a secret code developed for which group? Pony Express Riders, Napoleon's Soldiers, Tibetan Monks, or African Miners? Jimmy, your seven seconds begin now. You went right for Napoleon. Why? Braille, I believe, is a French word. So I went for uh, Napoleon soldiers. Did Jimmy the artist just double his money? Yeah! Yes, he did! Ah. <laughs> ah, fantastic. The code was designed to allow troops to read in the dark without alerting the enemy to their position. The Frenchman Louis Braille adapted it into the reading system for the blind we know today. So, Jimmy, you have a decision to make. You can take that money and leave right now. In fact, that's the only way that I can guarantee you you're going to leave this room with any money at all. Otherwise, if you're willing to risk it, you can face another player and keep adding to your money. But this is all or nothing. You lose your next duel, you lose it all. So, Jimmy the artist, you want to take the $10,000? Or do you want to play again? Ah. 10,000. I am a gambler, but maybe I can't get greedy. Maybe I've got to take the money, and I think that's what I'm going to do. All I'm right, he's going to take the money. He's going to take $10,000. I'm happy. I'm very happy. $10,000 for Jimmy. Jimmy, everybody, good job. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that means we need two more players to play duel, and we will pick them next. Stay right there. Do you have what it takes to win? Play duel on ABC.com.